Hi de ho, this is Lex from What the Craft, and today I'm going to show you how to make a half apron with ruffle trim. The first step is to go to whatthecraft.com and download the free apron template. There is a link in the description. Once you've downloaded and printed the pattern, we can move on to cutting out our pieces. So aside from the apron piece, I have a pocket, which is optional, 1.5 yards of ruffle trim. You can make your own if you want. I have some tutorials for how to make ruffle trim two pieces of fabric with a waistband that are 7 inches by 44 inches. And I'll just note here that this pattern works best with woven fabrics. The first thing we're going to do is take one waistband piece, and as you can see I have it folded in half, and we're going to cut it in half right on the fold. So now we have our two smaller waistband pieces that we just cut in half, and we have the one larger waistband piece that we did not cut in half. I'm going to line up the edge of one of the shorter pieces with the longer piece, and I'm going to pin them right sides together. And then I'll repeat with the other side. Using a 3 8 inch seam allowance and a straight stitch, or a serger, we're going to sew the three pieces together. Now you can go ahead and trim your seam allowances, and then we'll press them open with an iron. And of course if you've used a serger, you can skip this step. Now I like the ends of my apron strings to be mitered points, so take one end of your waistband, fold it in half, right sides together, and give it a little press with the iron. Fold down the corner at a 45 degree angle, and then give a press again. Now we have a nice crisp fold line that we're going to use as a guideline to cut. Trim along the line with your scissors, and if you open it up, we have a nice mitered point. Repeat the same steps for the other end of the waistband, so we have two points like this. Starting at one of our nice pointy ends, we're going to start folding it right sides together, and pinning along the raw edges. Pin, pin, pin until we get all the way to the other end. Before we sew this sucker, fold the whole long thing in half and mark the center with a special pin or a fabric marker. The reason we mark the center is because when we sew it together using a 3 8 inch seam allowance and a straight stitch, you want to leave the center 3 or 4 inches open, like so. Now starting at one end and working our way all the way to the other, we're going to trim all the seam allowances. Once we've got our seam allowances trimmed, it's time to turn this bad boy right sides out. Get your long pokey stick, jam it into the corner, and start working your way to that little gap we left in the stitching. Once I reach that gap in the seam, I like to really make sure the corners of the waistband are nice and crisp. Then you just grab onto the end and slowly pull it out. After that, it's as simple as repeating exactly the same steps for the other side. Once the whole thing's turned out, it's back to the iron. Take your old beat up piece of crap iron and press that waistband flat. Once you've got that whole bad boy pressed flat, set it aside. Now we're going to attach the ruffle trim to our apron. If you have pre-ruffled trim, you're going to pin it right sides together or on the curved edge of the apron. If you want to make your own ruffle trim, here's my crash course in my favorite cheater method for making ruffles. Take the trim fabric and fold it in half, then fold it in half again. Now mark all the spots where there are folds with a pin. This is called quarter marking. Basically you've just divided up the trim fabric into four equal quarters. And then we're going to do the same thing with the apron. Fold it in half, mark with a pin, fold in half again, it doesn't have to be perfect, and mark those folds with a pin as well. Now it's just a matter of lining up all of our quarter marks. Place the trim fabric on the apron, right sides together, pin the two ends together, and then move down to the first pin, find the pin on the trim, line them up, pin together. Move down to the next pin, find the pin on the trim, or in this case it's a seam, pin together. And so on and so forth. Now I like to go back to the first two marks. Find the center, just estimate, between the two pins for both the apron and the trim. Add another pin. Again. Divide the area between those two pins in half again. Repeat this all the way around until the ruffle fabric is evenly distributed across the whole edge. Now when I get to the sewing machine, or serger, I'll take a little bit of the slack trim fabric between my fingers. Then I smush it flat to the apron and sew. I take some more slack, pinch it, smush it, sew it down. Repeat this all the way around until you have a perfectly trimmed apron, like this. The next step, whether you sewed your own ruffle trim or used pre-ruffled trim, is to press the seam towards the apron with the iron. When you're finished pressing, top stitch around the trim seam. Next we'll attach the optional pocket. 
Figure out where you'd like the pocket to go and then pin in place. This would also be a good time to add any other details you might want. Rick rack, appliques, etc, etc. To attach the pocket to the apron, it's the same way I'd top stitch. I sew about 1 8 of an inch from the edge, maybe less. We're getting close. We're going to fold the apron in half and mark the center of the top edge. Grab your waistband and mark the center the same way, making sure you're marking the edge with the seam. Line up the center of the waistband with the center of the apron and pin right sides together. While you're pinning, leave about a 1 8 of an inch gap from the top edge of the waistband to the apron piece, like so. Sew the apron to the waistband using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Because we left that gap, when we press the seam towards the apron, it will completely conceal the raw edges. And just like I said, now it's time to press. When you're finished pressing, flip the apron over and top stitch the seam down. That's it, our finished half apron with pocket and ruffle trim. Don't forget to subscribe for more radtastic sewing tutorials and visit whatthecraft.com for more tips, tricks, and kick-ass sewing patterns.